Namaste. Today is Mother's Day, but I did promise y'all that we would do a crow pose today. So we're going to work up to a peak pose, which is a Vakasana. This going to be a lot of fun. I got some props out for us. We're going to do a whole flow. First, we're going to start off with our warm up. So do y'all remember our warm up that we went through? Fix my pants. So just get into easy pose. It's basically just cross-legged. Take some deep breaths. Let everything go from the day. We're gonna take a nice little twist to the left. Hold for three breaths. back to the middle. Go to our right. You just want a nice little stretch here. You want to feel it in your spine. I love to start with our spinal stretches. Now we're just going to do a forward fold. Just around our back out a little. Give me about three breaths. Walk over to our left. I know I didn't wear my, my contacts today. Walk over to your right. Come back to the middle. Give me three breaths. Slowly walk yourself up. Put my glasses back on. <sighs> you might feel a little dizzy. Just take a moment. On your next inhale, inhale up. Grab your left, your right wrist with your left hand. And just do a nice little side bend. Doesn't have to be a super deep one. Readjust if you need to. If you feel any pain in your back, don't do it. You're just trying to stretch. You can also put your hand here. Oh, uh, see, I feel a little bit more stretch in my spine there. Come back at it. Come to the middle. You can do the same. You can either do it this way, like we had talked about. Put your hands on, on your uh, knee. You got two more breaths. I'm always watching my posture. I found myself slouching a lot. Come back up. <laughs> this is where I like to do my neck rolls. So I'll start out to the left. Go to the right. Then I'll do my shoulders. A little hug. Oh, okay. 
So, crow pose. We're going to do some sun salutations. We're going to do two sets of sun salutations. We'll go slow on the first one, but on the second one, I really want you to kick it up and I want you to feel all your stretches. Sorry, I just drank a little bit. I had a little burp. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be firing our uh, inner thighs, working up our shoulders, working out our pecs. Uh, crow pose is usually the very first beginner balance pose that we have. And uh, it's, it takes a lot of practice. That's why I got us some props out today. I have some pillows. Uh, one of the biggest things are people are worried about it uh, falling on the face. I've done it multiple times, don't even worry. You're gonna see me pushing my glasses up a whole, whole bunch. I love a grandma cat. Scooch down, mister. Yeah. All right. So, we're gonna, <laughs> I just jumped up, didn't I, because I had to find my cat. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go sideways so y'all can see me most of the time. We're gonna start off in mountain pose. On your next inhale, inhale up. Take two breaths. On your next exhale, exhale down. Into a forward fold. Now we want that belly to touch our thighs. So come down into a rag doll. We really want to feel that stretch here. So what I said, so we want to feel that stretch right here, okay? So don't um, cheat yourself out of it. I even have to bend my legs for a front or fold because I can't get my chest all the way to my thighs. And remember, you don't want your ego to get the better of you. So take three breaths, and on your next exhale. Inhale. We're going to come up to just a forward, a half lift. Give me three nice breaths, okay? On your next exhale, put your fingers down on the ground. Nice, soft. Yeah. Nice soft knees. Put your left foot back into a runner's lunge. So we have a runner's lunge going on right here. I have a little trouble sometimes with my runner's lunge because I have things that get in their way. So sometimes I'll put my foot down. And I'll, sometimes I'll just have to go to my tiptoes. Because what we don't really want is way over our ankle. But we do want to feel this stretch. We're wanting to really fire up our inner thighs. Make sure you keep that core nice and strong. Because guess where we're going? We're going to play. <clears throat> So now we're gonna plank. Y'all remember how to plank? Good. What comes after planking? Our chaturanga. So we're gonna chaturanga and then into cobra. My cat wants to play fetch for now. <laughs> so cobra, we are going to curl our toes and we're gonna Curl our toes and come up into downward dog. So once you get your downward dog, reposition, take a couple of breaths. Remember you can Now you're going to move your left foot forward. 
into your runner's pose. Feel that stretch nice and right here. Now we're going to go into our rag doll. Make sure that you're feeling that stretch right there. Keep your back rounded. On your next inhale, inhale up into mountain. Now we're going to do this one more time, okay? This time we're not going to have a lot of talking. We're just going to have a lot of doing, okay? And I'm only going to throw this for my cat one more time. Ready? Go. All right. Take a deep breath. We're going into mountain. Inhale. Exhale down into forward fold. Remember, if you can't touch your chest or your thighs, bend your knees, keep your back rounded. Take two breaths. Come up into a half lift. Put your hands on the ground. Put your left foot back. This is a high lunge. As we do our high lunge, we're going to plank. Give me two breaths here. On your next exhale, exhale down into Chaturanga. Inhale up into Cobra. Curl your toes. Inhale up to downward dog. On your next inhale, exhale, inhale, and bring your right foot forward. Camera pointed. If I did whatever the opposite foot was, sorry, I lost count. So count in play fish. Soft knees. Bring your left foot up. You can do a half tilt. Round the back out. Do a nice deep. Uh, Forward fold, rag doll on your next inhale. Keep that back rounded. We're going to inhale. On our next inhale, we're going to inhale up. Into mountain. Let's have a nice little back bend after that hole. All those four folds felt good there. Alrighty. So we've done that. So now we're going to start off with our actual <laughs> flow. <laughs> we're going to start off with our downward dog, okay? So downward dog. Take a deep breath. Do a mountain. Swan dive down. Place your hand placement how you want it. You're going to be here for three breaths. I 
I want you to take your uh, right knee and I want you to put your right knee to your nose. Come up on your tippy toes. Give me three breaths. Beautiful. Next one. We're gonna walk ourselves slowly up into ragdoll. Nice, deep, deep. Feel your hamstring stretch. Feel that inner, that inner thigh is stretching here, okay? See, I lost my balance because I'm worried about my cat. We're going to come up into mountain on your next exhale. Mountain. We're going to swan back down and get ready for plank. So now we're gonna plank. Give me a good three breaths here, okay? As we're planking, I want you to now start moving on your tiptoes forward. I want you to feel the strength in your wrist. Remember, keep that tummy tucked up. Then we're going to come back up into downward dog. Give me three breaths. Put your knee to your nose, lift up. Give me three breaths. Put it back down. Now we're gonna walk it up towards our feet, towards our hands, so soften those knees. Walk forward. We're going to set ourselves up in position for chairs. So come up for mountain. Remember, beginners, put your feet out a little further if you need to. <clears throat> We're going to push our arms parallel. All right. Good job, y'all. Hold this for three seconds. Or three breaths, I'm sorry. Feel that fire, feel them engaging. I'm, I'm shaking myself just a little bit. So now we're gonna go into something called a peddler's pose. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap your hands behind you, okay? Then we're gonna bend over. And we want our belly to touch our thighs. We want to stretch those shoulders. Give me three good breaths, okay? Feel that stretch. You can let go, come back down. Then come back into chair. From chair, I want you to give me three more good breaths. Slowly lower yourself down. We got this from a cat. We're going to go into boat pose. So for beginner boat pose.
keep those shoulders up. If you can do a full bow, do it. If not, you're fine. Give us about 10 seconds. I skipped a whole section that I had planned because of my low cats, but we're gonna do it on the right and left side. <laughs> All right, come up. <laughs> that way, silly. All righty, let's do a little cat cow just to maybe get us back in the groove. Go back into downward dog. We're going to take our left foot, put it towards our nose, come up. Put it back down. Walk ourselves up. Soft knees. Into a nice rag doll. Three breaths here. Come into mountain. And swan dive back down into our plank. As we're in our plank, Work on our palate. Work on our wrist strength. No, I can't believe I, I skipped a whole section for y'all. Put your knees on the ground. I'll stretch that out for a second. There you go. Come back up. And go up back into downward dog. Make sure your arms are externally rotating. Suck in the tummy if you need to. Relax that neck and one new wrinkle spine. Take that left knee. Come up. Three breaths. All right. So now we were supposed to do ah, our warrior poses here, which we did not because I messed up on my first sequence. So <laughs> I'm a new teacher. Bear with me. So let's get set up for our right side. Put the right foot out. Make a nice bend. Put our left foot. Make sure it's nice and ground it into there. This is where you also uh, push that uh, leg out to the right a little bit. It'll give you a little bit of a inner thigh burn. Be three good breaths. Can't believe I did that. And then we're going to go into triangle. So we're going to triangle. Then we're going to really kind of push that right knee out. Oh, what a great stretch. Can't believe I messed that up for your left side. Come back up. Slowly walk. Oh, we're going to forward fold. Do our rag doll. Put that chest to our thighs. Really feel it. Oh. 
come up into the mountain. And we're going to get ready for chair. Remember, push our feet out a little bit from the chair. Parallel our arms. Give me three breaths. Now we're going to put our arms behind us in a peddler's pose. Interlace your fingers. Okay. We're just going to bend right over. Stretch the shoulders and your thighs and your quadriceps and your hamstrings. Give me three good breaths. On your next inhale, inhale back up into your chair pose. Keep your neck neutral if you're starting to feel any tension there. We're look up. Two more breaths. Now let's lower ourselves down for our boat pose. Tuck that tailbone in. Push those up. From inners, hold if you want to. Experts, go out. Suck in that belly. Make sure you have good form though. Keep holding. All right. Put your legs down. Now we're going to get ready for our crow pose. So some things about crow. It is beginner arm balancer. Um, we're going to get into a new pose called Malasana. This is prayer pose. And that is how we're going to transition into crow pose, okay? I got blocks for us. So you can use a block. Just put your head on if you need to, if you get worried. <laughs> or you have a whole bunch of pillows. Put some pillows up if you get worried. So that way if you fall, you go fall into your pillows. Now, here's the thing about crow pose. Don't let your ego get involved. People fall. We all fall. <laughs> Often. Um, crow pose is challenging and it's wonderful. And I hope you enjoy it. And remember, if you're pregnant, or have a um, carpal tunnel or shoulder problems, uh, don't do this pose, okay? Um, my shirt's so needy today. Uh, so uh, get ready. We're gonna get into Malasana. So how we get into Malasana is, it's just a squat. So, Everybody's squat is different. We know that, right? Because of our femur bones, the length of our femur bones. So whereas my squat could be this wide or it could be this wide. My feet could be like this, my feet could be like that. It's all on your comfort level, okay? Let me throw this for the cat. Okay, you got it? Ready? That way, okay. So from a lost net, hip width apart, I usually uh, have to splay a little. We're gonna come down. And this is prayer pose. So this is the pose that we're going to go into crow pose from. I, maybe I am, if Taco will let me. Move Taco. 
So, <laughs> put your arms shoulder width apart, okay? You're gonna use all the strength in your hands. You're going to make sure that all points are there. You're then going to move your feet up to where your shins are right on your feet. I mean, your shins are right on your upper arms, okay? And then you can go one leg at a time or two legs at a time. You can also crunch in with your fingertips. Uh, make sure you don't look behind you or you will flip over. Um, kind of keep your head neutral or look at a four point. You can go one leg at a time or you can go two legs at a time. And then come back down. Do you want to use your block? Use your block. That gives you a little bit more of a. What's the wrong for a? You're not as scared, maybe, or you're not as uh, nervous. <laughs> or you got your pillows that you can just fall into. So, so say you're up here, and you look at your cat and go, oh, man.